Aloha! Welcome back to another video. So, huh, it's been a minute since I've uploaded a favorites video, but I recently got back from a family vacation with my mom, my dad, my brother Simon, and my sister-in-law Sarah Ashley. We went to the island of Oahu in Hawaii and we had just an amazing time. I love Hawaii so much. I love the scent of Plumeria. I love the beautiful oceans. I love everything about it. I love the music. Um, there's nothing about Hawaii that I don't love. So I bought a few goodies and I thought it would be kind of cool to show you guys and just make a favorites video out of it. So yeah, if you want to see what I got in Hawaii and what some of my Hawaiian favorites are, just keep on watching the video. Okay, so the first night we got there, we went to Whole Foods. And I was just thinking that it was going to be a regular Whole Foods, you know, get some snacks, um, you know, same old, same old. But when we got there, let me tell you something. Hawaiian Whole Foods is, is a bit different than the Whole Foods we have here. This had tons of local Hawaii stuff, tons of fruit. I mean, I should have known, you know, we're in Hawaii, it's going to be different, but it was just so awesome and I wish I would have brought my camera that first moment that we went into Whole Foods because me and Sarah Ashley were running around like a kid in the candy store just so excited about everything they had so many different fruits um, they had like breadfruit um, guavas a really expensive pineapple which by the way we got to sample and it was the best pineapple I have ever experienced. Um, the produce guy was so nice. We were asking um, how to tell what's a good pineapple and he's like, hey, come over here, I'll cut some up and you can sample it. So that was super exciting for us. Um, but the part that I was most excited about was the Hawaiian Whole Foods bags. So I got this one. There was so many to choose from. I stood there for like an hour wondering which bag I should get. Um, my family probably thought I was really annoying with it, but I just, I needed to get the perfect bag because I love having a shopping bag. Um, you know, when I go grocery shopping, I walk home and I need a good bag. Um, something sturdy that's going to hold all my groceries. Uh, so yeah, I ended up getting this one. It just says Whole Foods Hawaii on the front. So I love that. And then it has the pineapples in this kind of uh, seafoam green, green color, which is one of my favorite colors. And I love how it has this compartment for your cell phone or your wallet, monies, whatever you want to put in there, little snacks. I mean, really whatever you want. I think it suits me. It just feels like me. I love it. Oh, I love it. And then they also had like these little reusable shopping bags, you know, they're just a couple dollars. Um, so I got one uh, like this, which is another beautiful color. And then I had a really cool green one and it said Hawaii across it, but my brother stole that one. Well, he actually used it to bring all my snorkeling equipment back to his place, so I can't be mad, but yeah, I'm gonna get that back one day. And then my next favorite is also from Whole Foods and it's kind of similar, but it's these organic cotton cases. And I saw these originally and I just wanted it because this was actually one of the prints on another bag, but that bag was a bit smaller so I didn't end up getting that one. But it just looks like that. It says Hawaii and has the beautiful um, plumeria, I think that is, um, flower. It's by Puna Noni, and this is made of organic cotton. It says Aloha on the back with the little Whole Foods sign. It's a little wristlet, really cool. But I originally saw this because, or wanted this because of the bag. Um, I wanted to use it to put my little vlogging camera in, uh, kind of use it as a camera bag or makeup bag, whatever. But when you open it up, I discovered that it has all these local Hawaiian goodies in it. So we have a Plumeria body wash, a Plumeria shampoo, and a Plumeria conditioner. This is all by Puna Noni Naturals. 
and they're completely natural really good ingredients actually oh they just smell so incredible you guys plumeria is <sighs> wow i need another one it smells it smells like hawaii like that's all i can describe it it smells like hawaii and happiness and being with my family and um it's the best scent in the world and that's another one of my favorites is plumeria it's just so fragrant you can wear it behind your ear and feel all special it just reminds me of hawaii and i love it so much and it's beautiful it's just a beautiful flower but these ended up coming really handy because I kind of felt like I was cheating on Kalia because I've only used Kalia shampoo and conditioner in my hair for years, but um, I needed these because we ended up going snorkeling every single day. So my hair was just getting soaked with salt water um, and it was really, it was really hard on my hair, but it was completely worth it because I mean, it's snorkeling in Hawaii. Who cares about your hair when you're sn snorkeling in Hawaii? But I ended up learning a lot about protecting your hair from the sun and the ocean. So, uh, hint, hint, new video coming soon. And then I got another bag, um, and this one is by Love Stash It, Stashable Tote. But I saw this one at Whole Foods and I fell in love because look, it's one of those ones that you can make really small so you can carry it in your bag or clip it on to something so it's very handy but I just fell in love with this print little pineapple print actually I just noticed both my bags have pineapples on them and both of them are kind of that green color so it says it's machine washable light and compact has a comfortable strap strong and durable can hold up to 35 pounds Wow this can hold up to 35 pounds. That's really cool. Um, but yeah, that's another bag. I got so many bags, you guys. So next up, I have something really cool, and it's these Hawaiian sea salts. And look, they're black and red. So this one is, I don't know if I'm gonna say this right, Uahi sea salt, black Himalayan salt. Um, so it has natural Pacific sea salt, activated coconut charcoal with naturally occurring trace minerals and electrolytes. And then this one is Alei. I could be just, you know, absolutely butchering those names. But, um, and this one is a rich red Hawaiian clay sea salt blend. And this has natural Pacific sea salt with premium Alei volcanic clay with naturally occurring minerals and ion or iron. So I can add a little sprinkle of Hawaii to all my dishes now. And while we're on the topic of food, I also got this cute little uh, honey bear and it's filled with 100% raw Hawaiian Manoa honey. And I love honeys, so it's really cool to have a Hawaiian one. And see, I can just put a little bit in my tea. And it's like I'm drinking the sweet nectar of Hawaii. That's very delicious and really cute. See, it's like a little teddy bear, little poo bear. And I know I said the bag was my favorite, but this is equal to the bag. This is my favorite food thing I got. So this is the chocolate macadamia spread by Manoa Chocolate. Macadamias are my favorite nut and you just can't go to Hawaii without bringing something back that has macadamia nuts. I mean, that would just be a sin, right? It's heaven in a jar. That's how, that's what I'm gonna describe this as. I've been bad. This is supposed to be used as a spread, but I've just been eating it straight out of the jar. As far as the dessert goes, this is the most incredible thing I've ever tasted. I'm not exaggerating. As far as like a chocolatey dessert goes, this is all I would need for the rest of my life. So a little backstory about this. Um, we were just walking past and we saw a chocolate factory and my whole family loves really high quality chocolate. Uh, so we decided to just go in and check it out, see what the Hawaiian chocolate is all about. And this really nice girl that was working there or owns it, I don't know, um, she asked if we wanted a free tour and sample 
sampling, chocolate sampling. Um, so of course we said yes, because who is gonna say no to a free, dark, delicious chocolate? Um, but it ended up being so cool. I learned so much about chocolate, so much that I didn't know. Um, I learned about the different qualities of chocolate and this place is all about quality. That is their thing. They are picking the best beans to make the chocolate out of. Um, it was just so fascinating what I learned about chocolate there and even the health properties of chocolate and um, you know what real chocolate is. I'll put the links down below so you guys can see where they're located on Oahu and it just has Hawaiian macadamia nuts, uh, cacao nibs, cane sugar and organic coconut oil and sea salt. So it does have a little bit of sugar in there but honestly this is just like a treat um, from Hawaii and like I said it is so good. So I want to try making my own macadamia nut chocolate spread. Um, I don't know how difficult that would be but I'm, I want to try it. And I did notice that you can buy it offline but I wish I wouldn't have discovered that because yeah, just control, don't buy it. <laughs> so I think that's it for food products. Now I can move on to some <laughs> really fun things. So this is my big floppy hat. And me and my sister-in-law, Sarah, but she's really like my sister or my best friend. She's just amazing. Um, but we wanted to get big floppy hats because the hats we brought um, didn't cover our shoulders and we didn't want to burn our shoulders. So I love a big hat because it protects your skin from getting burned and it also protects your hair from drying out. So it's just, it's nice. I love a wide brim hat. Plus they look so fashionable and stylish and amazing. Um, but we were looking all around, going into all the little shops, trying to find the perfect hat. You know, something that we actually loved. We weren't just gonna spend money on um, something that we didn't, you know, fully love. But we ended up just finding these at the ABC Mart and they're perfect. You know, it's the perfect color, the perfect size, and what's really special is it has this kind of Hawaiian wood and shells um, to make it extra Hawaii-ish. So this is just so perfect, and it didn't even cost that much, but I think it looks so cute. And Sarah Ashley also got one, because we like to always get the same things, but hers has kind of like uh, more colorful beads around it. So we were twinning with that, and we were also twinning, oh, 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 one sec, I have to go get them. So me and Sarah also bought these flip flops from Roxy, and I was actually having a little bit of a sandal scandal because my Birkenstocks broke right before Hawaii, they're just, were so messed up, I didn't even want to bring them, and then I brought my other flip-flops and the first day that I get to Hawaii they break. So I'm just kind of freaking out but Sarah Ashley really you know helped me stay calm and we went around and looked and found these cute little sandals in a, a surf and swim shop and I just love them because they're very neutral on the foot. Uh, you know I love the color, looks really nice against the skin and they are just so comfortable. They are like walking on a cloud. I don't know how long they're gonna last because they're just made out of this foam material, but I love them. And Sarah Ashley ended up getting a pair too. But then I also saw that they were on Amazon. So I'm like, do I need another backup? I think they were like $15 on Amazon. So yeah, they are needless to say my favorite flip flops ever. And that goes to show that, you know, everything happens for a reason because if my flip flops didn't break that first day I went to Hawaii, I would not have discovered these beauties because I wouldn't have went in looking for them. But what's really funny is me and Sarah Ashley both have these sandals now, but she's a size seven and I'm a size eight. And I ended up taking a left size eight foot and a right size seven foot. So, 
yeah, <laughs> uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do about that, but uh, we're just gonna switch them next time I go down to visit her. But like, how did I not notice that? And then to go along with my flip-flops, I got something really cute. I got my very first ever uh -oh. anklet. Look how pretty it is, you guys. I don't know if it's gonna focus. Focus, please. Please focus. Okay, there we go. So this beautiful, like, leaf-printed anklet. It's so pretty. My mom and dad actually bought this for me on the last day that we were there. I've never had an anklet before. And now, now I'm an anklet lover because when I put this on, I just couldn't stop staring at my foot. I was like, what is this beautiful shiny thing? Just caressing my ankle. <laughs> I love it so much. And look, I can give you some ASMR jewelry sounds. Okay, almost done you guys. I ended up losing my little black uh, cat eye sunglasses. So I found these ones in a store. They're by Le Specs. Le Specs. And I love cat eyes. That's the only type of glasses and sunglasses I like. Um, I just feel like me when I wear a cat eye. But my dad was nice enough to buy me these. And I think they're pretty stylish. And they have the gold on the side. Um, yeah, they're kind of cool. So I got those ones. And then these ones I did oop. The only thing I wish is that it came in a hard case bay. It just came in this kind of cloth thing. Um, so I feel like it doesn't really protect it enough. So I'm gonna have to get a hard case for that. But I didn't buy these in Hawaii, but just since we're on the topic of sunglasses, these are my favorite sunglasses ever. They're by Paired. And I just feel like some 60s fashionista when I wear them. They actually kind of look good at this outfit. Um, I love cat eye sunglasses. So I think, I think, I hope I didn't miss anything, but I think that's all I got in Hawaii. Um, and then another favorite I should mention is snorkeling because I've never been snorkeling before and we were snorkeling every day at Lanakai Beach. We went to Hanuma Bay as well, but um, it was, you know, you have to pay to get in there and stuff. But we had so much fun snorkeling, me and my brother. Seeing all the fish was so cool. And uh, the big sea turtle, Franklin was his name, he told me. Uh, but yeah, it was like a, a huge sea turtle that we got to swim with. And it was just so cool, it was so fun. So I guess my favorite of the month is really just all of um, my Hawaii trip and you know, being with my family, being in the sun, seeing all the beautiful green foliage, um, snorkeling, just everything. I'm so grateful that I got to go on a family vacation because it's been so long and to, you know, being with my whole entire family. And yeah, I think that's it, you guys. Oh, I didn't even wear my lei. I was planning on wearing this during the video. We got these to recreate a family photo that we took many years ago. Um, darn, could have been wearing that. Look, look how Hawaiian I look, or how touristy I look. <laughs> so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed my little Hawaiian favorites. And I know, I know it's been a while since I've uploaded a video. Um, well, I just uploaded one a couple days ago, but you know, I was planning on uploading all these videos during the summer and then I got that really bad bronchitis that lasted for so long so I couldn't do voiceovers and it just, ugh. But I promise you, I have like done like six videos and they're gonna be amazing. So just please stay tuned, don't hate me. Um, more videos are coming soon and I love you guys, I really do. So yeah. <laughs> I guess I will see you in my next video. Bye. Aloha. Dun 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 dun